What's up, YouTube? PokePrime here. Prime ready to deliver you a very, 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 very important update for the NPBF. Now, we did do a, a transaction earlier this season that acquired us our good friend uh, Cryogonal. So, ninety percent sure that Cryogonal was not originally drafted on this team. However, there were a few transactions made by other teams that uh, sparked my interests. See, um, the Parma Poipoles got a new coach and they dropped a lot of their team and then left uh, a Mon available that was necessary for me. And then also recently, uh, the Mon that was the catalyst for this. Now, I was thinking about it at this point when the when the certain Mon was dropped and we'll get to it eventually. But um, then my good buddy James uh, of the Memphis Brave Birds he decided to drop his Gothitelle. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, in our league, uh, Gothitelle is listed as a tier 5. Because we base our tiering off of Smogon. Uh, like, well, we, we had our tiers based off Smogon whenever we made the tiers. I don't remember when it was that these tiers were made, but... Um, we made those, we, the, the tiers were made a while ago, and uh, Gothitelle was in PU because of the fact that in OU, uh, in most tiers actually, Shadow Tag was banned, so you could basically only use um, competitive. Uh, so we were able to, so, um, it, so it, it became a tier 5 moment. However, since this is a draft league, Shadow Tag is allowed. So... Basically, we have like a, a Shadow Tagmon in Tier 5 just chilling there that like nobody was going to pick up. Excuse me. Give me. So, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we did have to say goodbye to our good friend All Blacks the Basimian. Uh, he put in a lot of work for us uh, in that one game that we brought him to, but uh, he just didn't seem to fit in a lot of the matchups. And unfortunately, Basimian is going to have to uh, get benched uh, permanently onto the free agency market. So, um, goodbye, buddy. It's been a good time. But we picked up Aesthetic, the Gothitel, with access to Shadow Tag. This thing is going to be such a monster for our team. Very, very solid, bulky Psychic type that does not bring any secondary typings as a downside. So we can have that bulky Psychic type uh, to use uh, in whatever way we see fit to wall any fighting type possible. Especially since we have Shadow Tag, we can trap those fighting types as well, um, which is really, really, really good. I'm really, really happy that we have a mon that can trap things. This is super duper important. If we see it's a mon that's a definite threat, we can trap it and take care of it ASAP, which is extremely, extremely important in in this league. So we picked up Gothitelle, and now we have three transactions a week, and obviously Gothitelle is not going to be the only one we do. Because if it was, then that would be stupid, because then we would have dual psychic types and we just wouldn't have a lot of roles filled. So uh, we actually do decide to get rid of our Bronzong, because Bronzong, like, as great as Bronzong was, um, you know, we can get other, we can get another Rocker easily in free agency. We can get another Steel type in free agency. I'm not too worried about, I wasn't too worried about that. Uh, we did just get another Psychic type. Um, it does lose us a ground immunity on our team but realistically like looking at our team even after the swaps like we already have a ground immunity in Rotom and a lot of our team's very bulky so it can take ground type moves so I'm not super worried about this so Bronzong had to go um and to replace it um I mentioned the Parma Poi Poles uh, having, you know, the, the replacement, uh, Blair and his Kokomo Kamoos, uh, dropping a bunch of Mons, replacing a lot of things. One of the Mons he got rid of was Discount the Sil Volley. Bruh. We have access to all the types. We got a new Defogger. We got Parting Shot. We got a whole lot of coverage. We got a lot of good things out of this trade. Let me tell you. We need a fighting type. We got a fighting type. We need an extra ground type. We got a ground type. We need. We need. Uh, we need. Uh, we need. Uh, we need any typing at all. We got it. It's right here. 
It's literally staring us in the face. It's beautiful. I, I've used Silvali so many times in the past, and I'm really, really happy that I get to use Silvali again. Uh, this is extremely exciting, and uh, I can't wait to uh, finally get to use him starting in week 11. So, pipe, 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 pipe. The last mod I decided to get rid of, um, because we did just get a new defogger, uh, is our Cryogonal. Um, despite the fact that he's been able to br be brought a couple times and provide us another ground immunity, um, Cryogonal's uh, weak physical defenses and lack of a move pool really kind of made it very limited in what I can do with it each week. So it was really, really difficult to bring it a lot. So I, well, I, I usually just decided not to. Um, so Cryogonal is going to have to get dropped here. And one of the things we didn't have on our team before was an electric immunity. We did not have a ground type. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our new steel type and our new ground type, our knight, uh, solid snack the Steelix. So we picked up Steelix uh, in tier 5 for Cryogonal, and yes, it's got piss poor special defense set, but look at that physical defense. This thing's going to be taking physical hits out the ass all day, every day. And this thing is really, really strong. 85 attack is decent enough. 55 special attack. If you think I won't be bringing some kind of sheer force, specially offensive Steelix at some point this season, you're wrong. But we have access to Sturdy, Rockhead, Sheer Force, all solid abilities for this Mon. And it just has a lot of potential to do a lot of work. It's another Stealth Rocker, uh, so it replaces the Stealth Rocking capabilities of Bronzong, which is really important. And uh, gives us that electric immunity that we never had, so we can potentially not get Volt Switched all over. So uh, yeah, that is our. those are our new team members. Say hello, and uh, hopefully they will be able to put in a lot of work for us in the coming weeks. So uh, thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time... I'm Bogey Primer, signing off. Peace.